Turn on the power switch. After finding the power switch, the controller will display a prompt to return to the origin. Press the machine's reset button. Or press the reset button on the handle. The machine will automatically return to the origin at this time. When the machine returns to the origin, pay attention to obstacles. Open the machine's running program. These lines of default parameters will be displayed. We don't need to worry about the coordinates of this feeder. Do not delete the coordinates of this feeder. Follow up this line. This structural design is based on the cylinder pressing method. Cylinder press down. So set the parameters of items R and C to Lim. Items R and C, the parameters are both set to Lim. Ignore items C e and C, they are default parameters. Just change this to to Lim and it'll be fine. Setting is complete, press OK. Then set the detection items. Screws completed inspection, select E. For alarm items, select R and open it. If an abnormality occurs, an alarm will be issued. Detection signal item, select E, torque. Detection signal item, torque is selected by default. When the setting is complete, press the OK button. The next item is the moving speed of the screw working head. Normally, the X direction moves frequently, while the Y and Z directions move short distances. X direction, set to 600. Y direction, set to 500. Z direction, set to 400. In the Z axis direction, the movement speed is set slower. Because usually, the design route is S-shaped. Therefore, the X axis direction moves more frequently. Don't set the Y direction speed too fast either. Then set the next item. Then set the safe height parameters. Safety height means the height that the screw is lifted after tightening it. Set these two parameters to Shu Hao Mi. If there are obstacles, the height value should be higher. We need to set the height according to the actual situation. We must avoid obstacles and prevent collisions. If you assemble the bottom case screws, be sure to pay attention to the height. The parameters must be set to at least 30. Now this setting of 15 Hami is fine. These two parameter settings are the same. Be sure to watch out for obstacles. All default parameters are set. Next, we set the coordinate position of each screw. The first position of the coordinate position is the 0001 serial number. We look at the red cross coordinates of the display. By operating the control handle, move the X and Y axis directions to find the screw hole. If the display is unclear, adjust the camera's focus. Pay attention to the speed when moving. Move the center of the screw hole. Something like this, move the center position. Reach the center position and press to record the coordinate position. Click this and the coordinate value is set. The X and Y coordinates are recorded. Then we look for the location of the next screw hole. Let's switch the speed to medium. Move to next coordinate position. After finding the location of the next screw hole, press to record the coordinates. Same operation, press this key. Then the coordinates are recorded. You cannot press the button repeatedly to record coordinates, each coordinate is only recorded once. Requires attention. Press it twice to assemble two screws with the same coordinates. According to this method, record the coordinate positions of all screw holes. The Z-axis direction is the depth of tightening the screw downward. Press the button screw feeder. The screws are sticking out. The protruding part of the screw is inserted into the screw hole, which is the depth of the Z-axis coordinate. 
We put the protruding screw into the screw hole. The Z-axis moves downward, first check the moving speed. This one has a screw, I'll give you a rough demonstration. The height of the Z-axis is the protruding part of the screw is placed in the screw hole, and when the screw head is opened, it cannot touch the LED mask. When the screw nozzle is open, it cannot touch the mask. The screw nozzle will open like this. The two conditions must be met, the protruding parts of the screws should all be placed in the screw holes and cannot touch the mask when opened. The two conditions that are met are the depths of the Z-axis. Set this Z-axis depth to all coordinates. Now the Z-axis depth is 71.12. Press this button to set the Z-axis depth. The starting sequence number is E. Assuming the ending screw hole is 50, enter 50. This has a serial number. As many serial numbers as there are here, we will enter the corresponding number. This is to set the height of the Z-axis in batches. The number needs to include all screw holes. Press the down button to enter the depth value. After entering the value, press OK. All the axis coordinate depth values have been modified. This is probably the procedure. To summarize, E, use the camera to find the center of the screw hole. R, put all the protruding part of the screw into the screw hole, and open the screw nozzle so that it cannot touch the mask or LED. This screw nozzle cannot touch the LED. Also, the Z-axis movement height cannot hit obstacles. That's probably it. Then there is a time setting. Assembly screw time setting. The normal reference value is 1.5 seconds. When setting is complete, press down. The second item means the pause time when the screw is blown out and reaches the nozzle. The dwell time of the screw at the nozzle. Approximately the parameter is set to 0.1 seconds. For large size screws, set 0.15 or 0.2 seconds. The third item, the numerical parameter is also about 0.1 seconds. Item semi in the residence time after assembly. For the third item, at least 0.1 time must be set. There is no numerical value, the screw nozzle lifts the mask up. Item 4, about 0.3 seconds. Item 4, this parameter is only used in depth mode. Depth mode, this pole. The pole will sense the sensor. Sense to sensor. Normally this is 0.3. The procedure for assembling the screws is roughly as follows.